scenes where I probably played. This story takes place a long time It'd ago. Be over in, in another world. As he'd done since a young age, Jinmu warmed up in the dojo, following yeah. the training required by the village chief. He was the most promising disciple. He put in quite the effort, firmly hoping yeah. to one day play his part in the protection of his people. He knew this. The Natsu yeah. clan leader, Amaterasu, yeah. was no man to call a truce. <laughs> Jinmu knew the yeah. origin of the Natsu clan like the back of his hand. Like everyone else, he was aware that Susano's eternal rival had betrayed her twice, turning against his own allies and mercilessly slaughtering his comrades to satisfy his selfish desires. It was because of Amaterasu that Jinmo had lost both his father and his mother, whom he had yeah. never known. <laughs> And so Susano had to raise him in their stead. Yet, it was not out of vengeance that Jin wished to fight, but to protect his own. It was from this unwavering determination that he drew his strength. Jinmu's training was coming to an end, culminating in a final challenge against his friend. Finally catching up? Boast all you want. I won! His confidence was not misplaced. None of his seniors or superiors could defeat him.
But even though Jinmu outstripped all his peers, he still hadn't managed to surpass his master. Jinwu, at last you've arrived. Are you ready to complete your training? I've been ready. I expect. I won. I did. What spirit you have. Sometimes you remind me of your father. But... I'm sure I can. That arrogance it reminds me of. Does that mean I can join the battle? Very well. You... I know... Your training is complete. And I can now give you your weapon. The katana is a samurai's best ally. Take care of it, and carry it with you wherever you go. Weeks passed, and unfortunately war broke out once again. It was time to... The Aki clan advanced through the valley to respond to the Natsu attack, and Jinmu hastened to join Akiku and his fellow samurai. But he lost track of his friend, and naively plunged into enemy lines to find her. Jinmu soon faced a formidable opponent. It was time to put all... The traitors of Aki will pay! Yeah. Bitch, lucky mistake. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why? They are the traitors. What? Fire? Despite Tengu's protection, a fire seemed to have broken out. Who could unleash such flames under a divine storm? Well, well, well. A raven who's still standing. You should have fled while you had the chance. But since you're here, be my war. Amaterasu. Jinmu had to fail. You're a little more skilled than the others, yeah. but you're starting to tire. Don't be disappointed. It's normal to battle. <laughs> You're a little more skilled than the others, but you're starting to tire. Don't be disappointed. It's normal to bow down to me. But try to entertain me a little longer, will you? You're a little more skilled than the others, but you're starting to tire. Don't be disappointed. Yeah. No one had landed a blow on me in ages. It's just luck. The weaklings I've faced over the years have made me let my guard down. It won't happen again. You're a little more skilled than the others, so you're starting to tire. Don't be disappointed. It's normal to bow down to me. But try to entertain me a little longer, will you? It's just luck. The weaklings I've faced over the years have made me let my guard down. It won't happen again. I can keep standing up to you. If you give up, we can still spare lives. <laughs> Give Jinmu. Jinmu. A Natsu woman in the Aki clan? What are you talking? You're fighting her war without even knowing this? How no You must think your intentions are noble, but your savage beast of a leader has more blood on her hands than she doesn't care about you. She knows you're spouting nonsense. Because she only listens to her Wait! Still trembling, Jinmu looked around him. The battle was over. Despite significant losses, Aki had come out on top. 
Yet despite this victory, thoughts collided in Jinmu's head. What was he talking about? His daughter? Could it be that Grandmother has been hiding things from me? All these corpses. As Miniaki as Natsu, is Amate- <laughs> Jinmu, you're back! Not even a scratch! I expected nothing less from you! We managed to push back the Natsu. Come, join us. We all deserve to catch- The Natsu will eventually come back, and this endless cycle of violence will resume as if today- Why not seek to stop this com- Jinmu, you know very well that it's not possible. Amaterasu doesn't listen to anyone but himself. He only wishes to destroy. I exhausted my kindness and patience a long time ago. The only option left is to defeat them all until the last one. I think I have a solution. Ah, here lies the cause of your sudden impudence. He tried to manipulate you. You must not listen to him. Amaterasu is a liar. His words are as deceitful as the goddess he worships. That is not it. There is a way out. And Amaterasu has only one demand to stop this war. Enough! You must do as I say. I don't have to answer to you. We are at war. Grandmother, is it true that we're holding his daughter captive? Ah! Of course, he still won't listen to reason! You cannot understand. It's too soon. I'll overlook your impertinence this time, and we'll talk about- We have to set her free now. It's impossible! You're- Ah! Oh. I should have known. It was a mistake to bring you to the battlefield. Impossible? I think the mistake comes from your blind stubbornness. Jinmu, please stop! You know the punishment for mutiny. Death. You leave me no choice. You are the one who taught me- You don't understand. Give up and I Phew. can forgive- Man, I should talk about ritual smoke. Uh. I can't move anymore. Does that mean it's over? Jinmu, you have disobeyed your leader. Go. G go I condemn you to exile. Take your weapon. March to the mountains of the north. And never come back. And so Suzanu banished Jinmu from the village and exiled him to the mountains. Jinmu felt completely lost. The history of his clan, the atrocities committed by Amaterasu, Suzanu's just cause. Where was the truth in all of this? And where were the lies? Who was his daughter? What was the real reason for this conflict? He remembered very well the story his grandmother had told him. In ancient times, Amaterasu had received the blessing of the mischievous goddess Kitsune in exchange for his blind devotion and unwavering submission. He then began to massacre all those who did not join her cult. That was the origin of this endless conflict. At least that's what Jinmu had been convinced of until yesterday. Now he wasn't sure of anything anymore. Did death Lifeless bodies, pain, and cruelty really have a meaning. Deep in Jinmu's soul, a conviction was beginning to emerge. This war was futile, and it could be stopped. And while he was lost in his thoughts, Jinmu continued to advance toward the mountains. The grass became snow as the fresh air of the valley gradually gave way to the icy cold of the peaks. Without realizing it, Jinmu had arrived to the mountains. Legend had it that it was beyond these summits that the abode of the gods was located, and that before inhabiting the valleys, the first samurai had trodden this same snow. But today, it would have been surprising for anyone to inhabit such an inhospitable climate.
further. Where am I? I must have passed out. Young Raven, the wind that blows in this place is too fierce. Who are you? Let's go. Here? How can anyone survive in these forbidden mountains? No matter. It's my last hope. No one would have the strength to survive the storm of Orochi. My name is Jinmu. Orochi. Because I disobeyed. Susano. So you are the grandson of Susano. In any case, you must leave. A boy of your kind would not last long. You don't look very young. I doubt. Insolent. I still. Yeah. Let that be a lesson to With the exchange of blows, Jin- Your necklace! What are you doing with the enchanted pearl of Amaterasu around your neck? What? But it's my mother's necklace. What else has Susano been hiding from me? That's a beautiful irony of fate. Who would have thought such a miracle could happen? Your story is, in a way, my story as well. Sit down, Jinmu. Long before you were born, I was the first human to meet the gods who came from their garden across the Bridge of Destiny.
They taught me the art of the blade to protect mankind. And in turn, I passed on this knowledge to my peers so that they could continue this sacred mission. We took the name of Samurai. Under our watch, peace reigned and the world was in harmony. You know them as mortal enemies, but at the time, Amaterasu and Suzano were my two best disciples. There was a healthy rivalry between them, and they were close as only a brother and a sister can be. Time passed, and each started their own family. Susano adopted an abandoned child and raised him as her son. That was your father, Oku. As for Amaterasu, I agreed to give him the hand of my heiress, with whom he then had a single daughter, Kushina. Life could have kept flowing quietly like this, but one day, my daughter fell gravely ill. Amaterasu prayed to the gods to save his wife, but in vain. He then turned to me, begging me to let him enter the Garden of the Gods to heal her with the divine water. But my loyalty to the gods came first, even before my daughter, and I refused his request. Amaterasu never forgave me, and thus his pain turned into hatred. This was when Kitsune, the fox goddess, chose to pour her venom into the ear of this suffering man. She promised him the survival of his beloved and the power to protect her. In return, Amaterasu had to commit to devoting himself exclusively to Kitsune and renouncing the other gods. Blinded by his pain and by the rage of feeling abandoned, my former disciple agreed to this pact. True to his word, he established the exclusive cult of Kitsune, and, ready to do anything to save his wife, he ruthlessly killed those who refused to follow his madness, and he even ended up seriously injuring me. <sighs> Suzano might have been able to reason with Amaterasu, but without warning anyone, she had already gone to fetch the sacred water for him. When she returned, she found the village in flames and bloodshed. Devastated by this bout of madness from the man she had always considered her brother, she swore not to let these crimes go unpunished. And in her quest for justice, she returned to the garden to implore the help of the gods. It was Tingu, the raven god, who answered her call. Under his wing, and with the help of the survivors, she built the Aki clan. And that is when this merciless war began against those whom Amaterasu had rallied under his banner, the Natsu clan. As for me, I am now the guardian of the bridge that leads to the Garden of the Gods, so that the influence of the Divine never causes such ordeals again. Kushina. That's my mother's name. So that means... Amaterasu's daughter is my mother. Jinmu. You are a descendant of the Aki and Natsu clans. But then, Amaterasu is my grandfather? And you're my... Great-grandfather. Your magic name... So am... Yes. Even... Me... Hate... Arrow... But you... Do not... Ah. Uh, so I have to challenge the gods in order to stop this absurd war. But a human triumphing over the gods is an... Despite knowing the... It is my duty to watch over my de Thank you. Jinmu, disturbed by these revelations, stayed a while with the Fuyu clan, using his time to train and think.